about the controversial, most controversial, one of the most controversial issues about the death penalty in the state government. We think there is a disagreement and agreement about what we, whether we continue the penalty in, in some countries or whether we abolish it. And what we, what we see when there is disagreement about sort of instances, we need to actually give as, as much information as we possible to actually capture the reality, to actually decide upon what we believe. And we think because that is lacking, because the fundamental information that we need is lacking, we think that is problematic to actually empower the public discourse, we need to actually take this model. I'm going to talk about um, three things in my, uh, two things in my speech. Why free speech is in, uh, very important and why we need to emphasize it with all costs. Secondly, I'm going to talk about why rational, rational discussion will occur and why it is empower the uh, actual meaning in this sort of stuff. But we call that like quite simple model. We're going to censor, uh, we are going to um, televise uh, actual execution of this uh, death penalty, Mr. Speaker, whether that is with, uh, with um, electro uh, shocks or whether uh, that is hanging your neck on the bridge or, uh, or, or in the room or anything. And we will televise this, you know, for instance, news program with no censorship, right, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, and we will actually <coughs> put, uh, will not put, a, put this in no any particular, the for instance, misinformation or the subjection of the government. And we will just report it as it is, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, there will not be, uh, they will not, like, uh, information, uh, uh, subjective value that I impose on this. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, um, that, um, that is simple. Uh, <coughs> Things like, like we just televise it in the way that we do for the parliamentary, a uh, parliament live on that kind of stuff. So let's move on, on to my substantive matter. So why free, free speech is fundamentally important? Because, Mr. Speaker, in the democratic society, we agreed upon to actually decide things on, uh, uh, rely on individuals to decide what is best for them, right? The constitution itself allows these sort of stuff, for instance, called, uh, uh, constitution. Uh, the constitution itself is based upon the people in, uh, and the citizens' um, citizens' consensus on which what they pursue in their country, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, they are responsible for what they are doing in their countries. And therefore, when they decide sort of things or well, that is controversial, they need to make decisions. And for that, we think that most uh, we need, we think we, we need like information as, pos as much as possible. And we think on this side of the house, as I told you, as a problem, like there's a lack of information, lack of connection between citizens and this uh, death penalty itself. Why? Because there's a property of language that the, uh, these words can tell, or the words on the, just the report of words that someone has died on a newspaper can tell, Mr. Speaker. We think on that sense, the images or the actual televising is fundamentally important because it can like directly tell why, the, uh, what sort of instances occurring, what, sort of, what kind of death penalty actually is to your, to every single citizen, Mr. Speaker. What, why that is so important? Because, like, there's no bias, right? There's no, like, bias that is involved, like, in what you convey in the news reporting. And therefore, there is genuine reality that you can show with this video, video or televising. And therefore, we think this is fundamentally important. So why this sort of speech is this is uh, why this maximizing this sort of images is necessary, right? Because, Mr. Speaker, we need to citizens be, should be able to decide what sort of stuff that you take towards these controversial issues, whether you are against this sort of death penalty or existence itself, or whether you are agree to actually have these sort of things. When, for for instance, the trend, for instance, in Japan is deciding upon these for like choices of later uh, um, making decisions in actual court, right? Because we actually adopted a system of late judge. Lay judges, and therefore, because there's more involvement in the court, sy court system or criminal justice system, and they may give in the future that they may uh, 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 they may dis make decisions on those uh, de uh, death penalty, right? And therefore, we think this sort of information is fundamentally important because, like, the participation itself is meaningless when it is decided from the identity of your own. Like, look at religion. Or look at those ideas so or decisions that you voted for. That is all affected in your uh, in your real life in society, and therefore you should be able to decide the stance. And because the information is fundamentally lacking from this sort of stuff, we need to take this model. Secondly, yes. If let's say the victim's families are extremely against this, why are you okay with 
violating their rights and publicizing this when the most important actors involved in this would not approve of it? Because this is a controversial issue, Mr. Speaker. Because we don't know. We, because we don't, we don't know. Like, these are the victims of this death penalty, Mr. Speaker. Where, like, retribution system should be one. Like, we don't know how the consensus between, like, how the retribution should be amongst these people, right? Whether that is, like, life imprisonment or the death penalty. Because there is, because um, we think, like, the best moral decision should be made when these, these kind of sort of, when, we, when we, we see the reality of these instances in actual occasion. Because they see, like, they're watching the people executed on television, right? And therefore, uh, television. And when they see the, 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 these offenders to the people, that is okay for the victims in the long term because they will um, um, empower the discussion of the, uh, uh, on, 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 or in the side of um, discussion of, for instance, uh, abolishing this sort of um, uh, this sort of uh, uh, death penalty itself. So, Mr. Speaker, we think there are variety of variety of perception that you can get from these images uh, or the, uh, tele televisation, and therefore, if, if some pe if some people feel that you uh, if some people feel that it is offensive for the for these criminals' dignity, they will or uh, like oppose to the, the dignity itself, right? But if, but some people think that it is actual uh, like actual or proportional this retribution to what they have done, and these decisions should be made when in, when uh, enough information are given to these sort of stuff, and that information can only be given when you look at the actual reality, and uh, that actual reality can only be seen. On, uh, when, when you actually look at the reality or the images of that thing, because that that is the genuine reality that we can't hide, that we can't hide from society, Mr. Speaker. So what we told you in today's debate, first we told you there's a gap between pe people's in perception about uh, perception because they because the lacking of the information that they get. But secondly, because it is necessary information to the individual to decide, the rational decision we are very proud to propose. I thank the Prime Minister for his speech. Now I'd like to call upon the Leader of the Opposition. Visual image. 
uh, uh, visual image, we, we, uh, uh, even if they cannot imagine in, uh, uh, with a certain thing, we think that they cannot, uh, in that case, they cannot imagine anymore because they, they are not the people who is going to die for that thing. So if, if, we, if, they cannot, if they are not capable to imagine that thing, and, uh, and with the help of the visual impact, they cannot imagine, so there is no necessity to, uh, uh, to take this proposal. And, uh, and we think that the, there is no... Uh, Yes, and um, we think that the freedom of expression can be restricted in with, uh, as long as there's people who receive harm. And we think that the, in this motion, the harm is the dignity that is deprived by this motion. The family of the uh, family of the uh, the criminal or the criminal themselves. But the, in detail, I like to explain the first argument. So I like to go on, move on to the first argument. The first argument: How does this proposal deprive the dignity of the people? Uh, we think that the punish, uh, that of course the punishment is depriving the life of the people and dignity to some extent. And we think that, as I said in the introduction, the death penalty is the ultimate thing. Um, we don't require any more because we cannot deprive anything uh, more uh, uh, adding to this, this uh, punishment. Um, the, uh, why, uh, by killing the criminal? The punishment end, so we think that, uh, but so we don't uh, we don't need to deprive other dignity of them. Uh, yes, so I will explain how serious when they uh, uh, when they deprive the dignity by this uh, by making this proposal. In this in this proposal, that the uh, the execution will be terrorized. That means that uh, the queen, the prison guard and the criminal is crying or uh, the scared or the, uh, or something. That is very shameful for them. And after after the execution of the death penalty, they uh, 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 the, uh, the television televised the people, the dead dead people, dead body. This is a very serious thing. And the, why there's dignity and, and the dignity is here is because the peop the criminal can imagine how serious they are in the future after. Uh, uh, when they are televised, so they can imagine and they hate. This is the will and this is the dignity. So uh, as long as they can imagine while they are living, there's dignity and dignity here. Uh, we think that this proposal will deprive many things, many feelings uh, that make them shameful when they are living. So that will deprive the, uh, the, the criminal themselves the dignity. So this is very serious. <coughs> yes. Once they become a criminal, there are lots of rights we deprive, right? Yeah. Yeah. right. As, I said, as I said, as I said, that so they deprive, uh, deprive many things, they are punished. As I said, the death penalty is the ultimate thing, and they are deprived many things. Why we add other things? We think that depriving such their dignity by taking this proposal is the over punish what kind of over punishment. So we are very proud to propose this. Yes. So I like to next explain the next uh, the second the dignity that is the family or the criminal. We think that this is very serious because they said that the uh, they said that the about criminal they deprive something, but about family uniquely. They don't deprive. Uh, they don't deprive anything. They are only giving about the chief and the criminal. Uh, of course, they, they are some responsible for them. But we think that depriving such uh, uh, the dignity is not uh, is, uh, it should not be allowed for the family at least. We think that the fact that after taking this proposal, that will televise and that, that will that people will and uh, people will see that. That means if. If the family is in the uh, living in the town and they're a neighbor, so and uh, there's possible that is possible that neighbor is seeing that. So the and the family will imagine many people will see that that my son uh, that seeing my son is they are dying or something. This is very serious. Please imagine the three three eleven k that uh, that uh, we televised the scene of the three one one accident. But in that uh, in this case, that there's dead uh, dead people, but that is stopped by government because that is depriving the family and victims dignity. That shows that uh, the freedom of expression can be restricted in that case. We think that the family can imagine many people is seeing seeing that many people think uh, many people is seeing that. So that is very serious. And lastly, I like I like to explain what the purpose of the television. The news uh, or, or the incident, that incident. We think that uh, we think that that is to uh, remember their victims that suffer and their family that is suffer from, by the criminal because that to know such important in, uh, importance or the seriousness, people can be educated. That is the one main purpose of the news uh, new, or news of the television. We think that this, this is very important. But after taking this proposal, that. The powers cannot be achieved because the, because the 
strong impact to the visual. Uh, that, um, <coughs> yes. After catalyzing the death penalty, there's no uh, no uh, no program about this incident because the incident end uh, in this uh, when the when the criminal died. So in that case, the impact of the visual or uh, big, uh, or the criminal will be memorized by people, not the victim. This is very serious because people remember only the criminal's dead body, not the victim, how serious they are. So that is a very serious problem. So we were very proud to propose to the Thank you. I thank the leader of the opposition for his speech, and I want to call upon the deputy prime minister. should be given to the citizen. 
Because in the liberal democratic society, the citizens are the ones who are actually participating in the process in which they are actually prosecuted, who are the participants of the creating law and the criminal justice system itself. That's why, for example, actually, even on our status quo, that we can go to the court itself and see how the court is going now, if you want to be. And that's why we are right now have a chance for uh, have a chance in the living room to watch the actual life in the prison. This is why that those process should be required in order to decide properly how judging or how in the life in prison is actually going on properly. When you see that in, uh, uh, when you see that visual imagery, you for, for the first time you have an, you can have an opinion. When the end of the night they will uh, they will be asked what about it, and they will say uh, uh, they will see uh, those people will say. So I think the life in the prison is so disgusting. So we think we think the more improvement or etc. etc. So exactly the same thing. So you have an opinion, you actually reflecting the vote or reflected as public opinion, and that will the, uh, which judge will be affected in the televised or something like that. Moreover, the law should be changed after taking this proposal. However, somehow the just of the process of execution is hidden from the public. It is really ridiculous, ridiculous and funny. Because people can now unable to actually have an opinion and then have a discussion, we believe that those images are necessary, which leads to the second point about how this proposal will have a positive effect. Yes, go. So according to your analysis, people recognize that movies and TV are different than seeing a crime in person. But they're not going to be seeing this execution in person, they're going to be seeing it on TV. And so it's not going to have the impact that you're suggesting. They're just going to think it's another movie, and that's not going to contribute to discourse at all, because it's not going to impact them in any way. So if you're so irrational and stupid to the degree that you can recognize the differences between the movie and the actual crime scene, we believe this proposal has no effect. However, the thing is the people are actually capable of distinguishing those two kind of movie we think is severely affected. So let's go to the consequences of this, of this proposal. We think in the LDC, let me characterize how those people have opinion about death penalty. We think it's a minority that is anti-death penalty fundamentally or fundamental pro-death penalty people. And the majority of people are actually ignorant and actually don't care whether or not those things are exist. So let's talk about first pro-death penalty people. We think this proposal will be a chance for a pro-death penalty people to consider it again. Because they firstly, they, they, uh, the first reason why we think that those people should be subject to death penalty is actually they think that they, they, that they are not human because they are not actually committed a crime. Because we think if actually visualize, when those people actually see the movie or see the images, they will already consider, oh, wait a minute, that could be a human. Or those people is also human exactly the same way as we are. We think it's especially important when those uh, it, it's much better than fundamentally think that those death penalty is required or etc. But secondly, more importantly, we think that it's activate the majority who don't care about it. Because it is sure that those people will watch it after they call theirs because they're curiosity. And it intuitively let uh, intuitively let into the mind. We think that's good. With, when those people will see that those, peop uh, those people are actually sentences, we believe it's absolutely good when those people have opinions and have discussion and have reflect to the law. So we think that for this reason, we're very proud of us. I thank the Deputy Prime Minister for his speech. Now I'd like to call upon the Deputy Leader of the Opposition.
function. And so, well, the only argument we got from their second speaker is how this is going to change the mind of people. But I hope you realize that he contradicted himself. At one point, he was like, seeing images will definitely change minds. But then he said, seeing images on a TV or movie has no impact whatsoever. I ask you, which is it? Maybe you didn't understand my point, but the point is there's a difference between seeing a crime committed live, as in if I go punch Kazumasa in the face right now, and if you were to see it on this screen. When you see it on the screen, you are removed away from it. You are desensitized to it. And also, because all of these movies and things exist, people are already desensitized because you might see a criminal get a lethal injection on TV. But if you've already seen some guy's body get blown apart in a movie, how much of an impact is that going to have on an average citizen seeing them die in that way? So we don't think it's going to improve public discourse at all. It's just going to be some random form of entertainment. It's only going to cause harm to people. Okay, I'll take one. So if you care so much about Bethany's family, why understand us though the government's a low media to actually televise the victim of uh, the family of Benton? Uh, sorry, the family of the criminal. Because the criminal's family gives permission to be televised. They're not televised without permission. The criminal can be televised without permission, yes, but not the criminal's family. They have to be they have to give their approval to the news to say I'm okay with being interviewed. And so that doesn't stand. Sit down. That doesn't stand. And so to briefly reconstruct by looking at his reputation, well, I already addressed how seeing something on TV and seeing something live are not the same thing and how this won't affect public discourse in any way. So the second reputation is that these people don't have any dignity and the death penalty is already taking away their dignity. Well, I'd like to tell you my side is not for the death penalty. We are against the death penalty, so that doesn't stand. However, the notion of dignity, do we take away every single right from these people? No. Before we kill them, we're not torturing them, right? We're still treating them as human beings. We're still feeding them. We're still giving them water. So we're not taking away every single right because we recognize that they are, in fact, still human beings. And so we recognize that they still do have some dignity. So that doesn't stand. My partner's analysis of why the criminal has dignity completely stands. And so his other reputation. Was the same thing, and so actually, no, all his other, sorry, all his reputation, all his other reputations were just about the impact of the image. But I already explained to you how that doesn't stand, and I'll take one more point before I get into my argument. So let me confirm: Are you totally against the death penalty? Yes, totally. My side is totally against the death penalty. So because we don't believe in removing the dignity of the yeah. And so my partner explained to you already how the death penalty is the ultimate punishment. We do not think. Because this will 
at Yakuza to make this a really relevant example. If his fellows, fellow members of the Yakuza see him executed on TV, that's going to serve as a rallying image for them, right? They're going to see the person who they admired, who they were friends with, dead and murdered on TV because they're going to view it as murder because they're going to think their fellow criminal didn't deserve it, right? And so this is going to anger them. It's going to empower them to create more crime, to create greater harm. And so our entire purpose is that, yes, public discourse is a good thing, but it should not come at the cost of other people. It should not come at the cost of the criminal, what little dignity he does have that we do give him. It should not come at the cost of the criminal's family, the victim's family, or society, if we have the case of the martyr syndrome that I just gave you. For all those reasons, we are extremely proud to propose, and should, you shouldn't be so overconfident. Thank you.
insulting the family of criminals. We don't think this is okay. We don't think that that insult is just enough, and we can prosecute them. So, so then they said that we don't torture, that we don't torture, and then that no torturing is applicable to this case. But we say torture is only for giving more and more pain to criminals. It is not purpose. Uh, the purpose of torture is not give. Uh, is not to give. Anything to a society, right? Torture gives nothing to a society. That's the difference between televising and torturing, right? Televising can uh, can give something to the society, the same basis for society to, to have more more stance towards the death uh, penalty. So, final thing in the justification, it, they said, is that more crimes will happen. So this is just lack of analysis, lack of explain, explanation, because we can't see not so much reason as to why the same death of worse criminals lead to their or lead to the the view of crimes. We can't see any process of that. So we say when it can help, uh, when, when this terrorizing can help informing of background, the process, and result of death penalty, it can create more discussion uh, uh, among citizens. This leads us to the second issue. Uh, 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 how many times left? How many? No, no, not How much time left? Four twelve. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so secondly, let us display pair of uh. So okay, in, in, before that, yes, please. <laughs> To being interviewed, right? So that is not so uh, problematic. Is, uh, we don't think that is so much problematic, right? So, uh, 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 to the second issue, whether this creates fair discussion in our society. We told you what all the, the, what the only scene of death penalty tells, right? So, this the, the language cannot explain this kind of thing, as my partner told you. Thank you. So, okay, first thing I said is literature or movies can tell. But our response is that imagination is not enough. Because the as long as that because you can always uh, the, uh, beautify your interpretation of that language, right? That especially when you think the image of death that the image of death is horrible, you want to avoid that you you want to avoid to see it in in your mind, and, uh, and uh, you you are likely to avoid the the worst image of death, even if even if you know death itself is something uh, something horrible, right? And also, with my partner told you, bias is involved when you are telling uh, telling death penalty through languages, and that's that has never been responded to. But secondly, they say artificial movies or documentary or fiction or that kind of thing can tell what is death penalty. But we say you know it is fiction, right? You don't have to uh, link it to your real life, right? For example, that is why Clone Wars in Star Wars don't stimulate your thought about war. So you <laughs> should. <laughs> they say that not, they, people will naturally know death is horrible. But if death penalty is too distant from your real actual life, if you know horror of death itself, you don't know horror of death penalty itself. That is how, what is happening in the status quo. And finally, they concede, actually they concede that uniquely televising death penalty is effective to influence people's mind because they are saying the harm will be created onto people's mind. They just concede that this yeah, yeah, yeah. is so effective, efficient way of telling people what is this death penalty. So we say only this can create reaction to death penalty. It is so visceral, it is so stimulating, and it can create your stance Towards death penalty, as my partners told you, right? As you told you, participation is meaningless. It is if it is divorced from your stance, your opinion to uh, the, that that is that, that is directed to the death penalty, which is still existing in our society. So we should have stance to uh, to what we are conducting in our society. That is why we are very proud to propose. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen in South. There are four assumption results. Status quo discussion is enough, or some country there are no discussion. So taking this proposal is very important. But my honorable budget probably mentioned that status quo already many country, uh, many country call the discussion, or many people join such discussion. On that stage, why such situation happened? Because status quo information from government is enough. Status quo publishing publishing things is it enough, so we can make a discussion, right? So on that situation, there are no necessity to take into proposal. And I have one doubt. There are totally assumption. Uh, there are totally assumption that we have to, you know, even if we admit their own analysis, they give the they give the such information to the society, and they introduce, you know, the fair judging. You know, the people uh, people get the people get the knowledge. People, you know, people have to decision the this penalty is good or not, or this penalty is severe or not. But okay. That is one kind of enforcement from the government. That is not the fair. That is not the that is not the totally sudden decision. Why? Right? Because the status quo. There are many, you know, there are many discussions. That is a very situation where we should ban this penalty. Right? Like, or if the so if under such situation, government introduce such point that government just improve such you know the one side the one side discussion on that situation. Even if we have made their analysis, that situation it totally. Not the student decision, so we have to oppose this motion. Based on this stance, firstly, I split this one to three issues. Okay, the obligation including my rebuttal. The, my, first, my first point is that we can go this case in the names of the public discourse. And second argument is that status quo is enough or not. People, a status quo is enough or not to make people make decisions or including decisions. And last point is that even if we are make status quo is not enough, after after bond option called something or not. So this is my point. So let me move on to my point. So let me, uh, my first point is that we can allow this case in the names of public discourse or not. Therefore, the assumption is that uh, we can admit this situation because that that totally cause the totally cause benefit and there are no harm to the society. But my only party clearly mentioned that there are huge harm to the society, especially many important actors. First actor is the you know the victim uh, the victim victim's family or criminal's family. There are there are such actors. There are whole, whole assumption coming from a whole reputation coming from uh, the lip speaker is that okay already family's life or their life are violated because of the interview. But my only party clearly mentioned that there are totally different between interview and they watch their own son's body, this body, right? Uh, because okay, please imagine the situation. The son, uh, the in, Okay, the on the interview situation, you never force, right? The, if they're asking, you can ask, you want, you want to say. But after the adoption, they force to vote, right? They, if they don't want to the vote their, your, their son's body, they force to them. If you click the TV, they are like your son's body. So on that situation, they, cl they clearly violate, the, uh, clearly violate the life and they feeling bad. So on that situation, totally violate the, the, you know, the family's life. And uh, victims feeling point. They are, they, they they totally engage on that point. Uh. My honorable father clearly mentioned that taking this proposal uh, uh, violates victim feeling, right? Because that from the beginning, some some victim, some victim and victim family don't want to watch. Or after bad action, the other people only focus on the dead body. So they totally they don't totally forget the what happened for the victim side. So on that situation, they never engage. That cause harm, surely harm to the society, such especially for such actors. So as long as cause harm to society, like the hate speech case, uh, hate speech case that cause harm to society, right? So government can restrict them, right? So on that situation, based on that, based on the this based on this analogy, we can justify today the motion as long as such situation cause the society. Um, this is my first point. So let me move on to my second point. Status quo is it is enough or not to people make a decision? Okay, their totally assumption is that not enough. Okay, some country have no discussion, or some country even if they have discussion, uh, there are uh, the less information. Okay. Uh, my first, my first refutation is that many country, all uh, many country, United States, Japan, French, Italian, uh, many country for discussion already, right? Uh, why uh, many people try to change the situation? Right? Why? Because of people already get enough uh, enough education. They uh, to they decide that situation is so severe that situation not humane. Right? If the people feeling so, the people call this people cause 
uh, this, uh, people call discussion on that situation, status quo is enough. And my own, uh, my, uh, okay, the way to, uh, okay, the, please explain your knowledge. Wage death penalty is already explained by the government. You know how Japanese government sent them with this penalty, right? Or you know the how this, uh, the people send this penalty leave the, their uh, last life, right? So on that situation, status quo totally enough, but they never finish on that point. Um, sorry. And I said before, this is one kind of enforcement, right? They try to, they they want to, you know, promote the student, uh, student decision, student decision by myself. But this is uh, if the, if now we introduce that motion, we just including one side opinion, right? If they use it generally, now there are many opinion. Okay, this penalty is bad, or human side try to this this penalty. Eh, we have to ban this penalty. If the government now. Uh, show such situation. All people try to explain, all people try to see this penalty is bad. So on that situation, if we consider status quo situation, that is totally not rational decision by the people, so we cannot take their proposal. And even if we have made uh, status quo is enough, uh, after fun, uh, after fun, call, after fun call nothing. My other part particularly mentioned that watching uh, watching through a television and uh, uh, watching through a television have no effect, no effect, right? Because my honorable partner, uh, please imagine the what, please imagine your case. If you want your grandfather the this body, and if you want the you know if you want the some kind of movie or some kind of uh, photo that people people this, which okay, which is impact for you? Okay, if you watch it directly, you you get you get harm, uh, you get something impact. But on the other hand, the you know the photo or uh, throughout the movie, throughout the movie, you feel you feel nothing. So on that point, uh, even if after taking this proposal, uh, just for the harm society, so as government we make the process motion. Thank you.
so they help them, they feel shameful for that. So this this is why there is dignity. And even though they are, even though they are will that they shame they are shameful. Um, uh, just because they are criminals, they deprive uh, many things. They are deprived of dignity. But we think that that is completely finished by the punishment of death penalty because the death penalty is the maximization or depriving the dignity of the criminal. So we think that is enough. And uh, so we think that uh, so that is the over punishment. And how about the family's dignity, for the criminal's family's dignity? We think that that is serious because everyone or many people in the town or the world see that the son or their father or the people die. So everyone see that. Uh, so this is very uh, mentally harmful for them. And this is depriving the dignity of the family even though they are not criminal. We think that this is a very serious problem. And uh, lastly, I'd like to explain. Uh, yes, what kind of infection the visual impact could bring out? We, the government say that the image that uh, that will the impact will make the ima uh, make the death imaginable. But we think, as I said, that is not real, and in the state school that is the, uh, that is not. So there is no necessity. And we think we think that the, more importantly, the televising such scene will affect to two after first point of family, as I told you, that is very serious. The family was a criminal. And secondly, more uh, the important thing is about the big, uh, uh, about the purpose of uh, we think that the, imp the impact will uh, uh, impact will avoid the purpose of television. We think that the that in, uh, the important purpose of the uh, like the televising such incident is, is because the, we can memorize and we can remember the victim and how serious the incident are uh, is. So this is very important. But other thing is proposal by the strong impact of the, um, that strong visual impact. What we memorize is the dead people. That because that is visually uh, 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 visually impact that all over the fact. So that is very serious. So we support and we are very proud of this one. So. I thank the leader of the opposition for her speech. For his speech, and I'd like to call upon the prime minister. Lack of intellectual engagement from the opposition side. Where we told you this is like a very, very grave problem of the lack of like public discourse, right? We told you like repeatedly, again and again and again, there's misinformation and detached from the reality that the public are shown. Just the complete denialism from opposition with a simple assertion. But more importantly, we told you the importance of deciding what, what, what sort of stuff that we have to take on this side of the house, right? When this is controversial or more controversial as it is, we need to make decisions on our own. When we when that is the choice, when that's the choice we made in our society, when that is the responsibility is on our own, Mr. Speaker. And because we need to clarify what sounds towards that information, we told you that sounds should be made with the, as much information we can. We, there are three issues to talk about. Firstly, the, whether the problem exists, secondly about free speech, and thirdly about the practical harms that they talked about. Firstly about the problem, right? We told you from side of proposition that there is fundamental lack of direct message that the world can tell that the current media cannot show, right? Because there's a positive language that you can convey words to the reality of the speaker. And more what they response was that there are movies, that there are for instance, sort of other things that we can tell this sort of stuff. We think that, they, that that was rubbish because we, we told you that the, the, when we perceive those sort of information, we know that it's fiction, right? We know that it's not the reality, even if it is, for instance, maybe all those kind of things. And then, more importantly, if that words or something works, right, or works, or if there are words that is reporting those kind of things, there's, for instance, unification of the words or the reality that are detached from the reality. 
And therefore, you can't actually guarantee what is genuine reality of this kind of thing because there's a bias, because there's sort of intervention from these editors, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, there's lack of capacity for the individuals to just captivate the reality from these information that are given the status quo. And therefore, there is the necessity to have the direct message, which is to show the reality, genuine reality, with no bias, which we showed on proposition side. And therefore, we think there's clear necessity for this. But secondly, about the free speech, we told you, and they conceded, that the fundamental premise of the uh, fundamental premise that the free speech is the fundamental good, right? Like we are, that is to say, we because we are deciding, for instance, to actually legalize some certain laws or constitute our means in our society, or do the actual judging or actually participating in society, we decided we decided those things as society, and we are responsible for those, those things because we consented to have death penalty in our society, Mr. Speaker. And having that, having that said, we told you it is important to have, a, have as much as the information, and because they considered it. And what they said, what they claimed was, but because we have to protect but like, uh, the dignity of these criminals, right? Which we said, like, criminals' dignity are already de deprived in, all, in many, many circumstances. We all are already televising sort of images for when we captivate the criminals, right? When we, we are already, like, pe even the criminals' a family are forced to see these images on TV. What's the difference on their side of the house that these images and this particular televising execution is different? They never showed you on side opposition. And therefore, we think there is necessity and there is a presumption of free speech that empowers the decision of these individual, individuals. We think there is fundamental benefit that we can get from this. And therefore, because we told you side proposition that these sort of visual impact can lead to more rational decision because that the direct message can guarantee that what your perception is natural. And therefore, you can't clearly show your, what your stance is to this sort of stuff. And even if, uh, like the whip speaker said, even this would lead to one-sided discussion, one-sided opinion, if that is the result of the public discourse, we are okay with that. Mr. Speaker, and ladies and gentlemen, because this is necessary, because it, for this controversial, we need to clarify our stance to this question, uh, to this issue. And because we need this sort of information, <laughs> We, are, uh, we propose. Okay. I thank all speakers in this round. Please give them another round of applause for the next.